scale models of hens we made the last time I saw you and here's one I made so we have five. This one looks a bit fat. <laughs> Don't you think? No, it's just got lots of muscles. Mm -hmm. Let's use this one as the model hen then. That's mine. Okay, now that we have the model hen, the next step is to design and build the shelter, a place for the hens to sleep. This would be on the same scale as the chicken. That's good. And how big would that be? Um, one fifth of the real size. Yes, that's right. But before we build the model of the shelter, first we have to design it and work out all the sizes. So, how big should the shelter be, guys? Um, I suppose it should be big enough to fit all the hens in. And how big is that? Um, I don't know. What, what? Huh? How are they going to make the home for all the hens if they don't know how big to make it? Huh? Is it as big as the jungle cafe? Is it as big as my tree? Or is this going to be a disaster? What, what? Trunker Tanu must sort it out. Yeah, sure. Well, now let's think about the perch that will go inside the shelter. Chickens like to sleep side by side on the perch to feel nice and warm and stay safe. There are different ways of doing it, but I think let's have the perch go right across the width of the shelter from one side to the other. There are five chickens and the models are each four centimeters wide. So we have to multiply four centimeters by five chickens to get the width of the shelter, which will be... 20 centimeters. The shelter will be 20 centimeters wide. Hmm, but don't you think all the chickens will be squashed together? Yes, and if they get any fatter, they won't fit on the perch at all. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. Right, let's add one more chicken width. That's four centimeters. That will make our chicken shelter 24 centimeters wide. So, Veda, please write that on the board in the top square. 24 centimeters. And now we have to think about the length of the shelter. The chickens are going to sleep in a shelter. I suppose they don't need much space there, maybe four centimeters long. You've got the right idea, Yoli. But what if it's a very hot day and they need to move away from the sun? Or it storms and they need to take shelter there. So the chickens actually need a bit more space than that. So how much space must we give them? Let's make it about two chickens long, eight centimeters, and say about four chickens high, 16 centimeters. What about the chicken yard? We need somewhere safe for the hens to roam about during the day. And what about the shelter? Where would that go in this place? Good point. So we've got five chickens that need some space to move around. Let's say they need about three chicken lengths. So if each of them is four centimeters long, the space they need is three multiplied by four, which is? I know. 12 centimeters. Right. So each chicken needs space that's 12 centimeters by 12 centimeters to move about in. Hmm, I've got an idea. I'm going to get you some cardboard and why don't you grab your rulers and scissors and then will you each measure and cut out square blocks that are 12 centimeters by 12 centimeters. Okay, I have two rulers and a pair of scissors if you need extra. Oh, where have you been, Marvin? Hmm. I've been looking everywhere for you. Ah, oh, no way. Hey, well, it doesn't seem like nowhere to me. In fact, unless you have a twin, I saw you outside. Hey, I do have a twin, Marvin. You. Ah, don't be funny with me. <laughs> I saw you doing something outside. Well, I was looking at a few things. A few things? Such as? Well, what, a, what our home looks like. And why were you so interested? Well, I thought we could redesign our home. What? What were you doing with that measuring tape? Hey, I was thinking of putting a fence around our door. Our door? Mm-hmm. Do, don't you mean our hole in the ground? You may see it as a hole in the ground, Mervyn. I see it as our front door. Okay. Okay, all right. And what do you want to put a fence around it for? Well, to keep everyone out. Everyone who? Well, the people we don't want to see. Right now. I don't want to see you. 
So, Mavin, don't you want to make our home better? I'll tell you what you can do that's better. What's that? You can go into the kitchen and make us some lunch. You wish. Right, let's take five blocks, one for each chicken. We could arrange them in different ways and come up with different designs of how the yard could look like. Four. And our fifth chicken. which would give us a wide cage. Or like this, which would give us a long, thin cage. Where would that go? Oh, I cut out a block here for the shelter while you guys were busy with your small ones for the yard. Um, how about this press stick? Oh, sorry. There you go. How about, yeah. Oops, we just lost some space for the chickens now. Yes, we could put it here. I think this long, thin design will work well. Remember, I've got that tree outside. I don't want it to be in the chicken yard. Where would you put the fence pole? I've got some more sticks and netting for the fence. There you go. Some more. And there's our netting for the fence. Maybe mm -hmm. we can put one in this corner here. All right. Yo, here's some plastic. Somebody just help him pass the plastic and the pole. Thank you. And perhaps, and perhaps also one here. Harry, can you do that for me, please? Okay, just hold that. Pass me this one. Okay. Um, yeah, sure. And over here. And then we also need one on the top there. Yeah. Please, thank you. Yeah. Just need one for me, thank you. Um, oh, we can put one up here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'll just get one here. Yeah, thank you. Oh, press stick. Yeah, yeah Yoli. Put this one here. Thanks. Okay, that's, enough. that's enough, press stick. Thank you, Yoli. Great. Thanks. And if we wrap the netting around here, Hold on to this while we press ticket, it's fine, I'll fix it. I'll fix it, just hold that. Right, press tick. So, if you wrap your netting around the poles there, you can just get it this one to stay. And here, don't pull it too hard. You can always extend it. Right, maybe join this one here. We'll just do two now to explain what we're talking about. Okay, we'll just turn it here. We don't have to stick it there. Enough, that's it. We get the idea. Just make sure something doesn't come. Oh, right. Great 
Yeah. I think chickens are We have a bit more space for the chicken to, to move around in. That's perfect, you see. So yeah. we have a bit more space for the chickens to move about in. to build the model mm -hmm. now? <laughs> yes, Harry, I think we can. Can you see how these models have helped us to think about our problem more carefully? Sometimes it's very easy to get very excited and rush into making something. Yes, and then it collapses like the kettle. <laughs> Are you ever going to stop talking about that? <laughs> oh, now I see. They are clever. They've worked out the size of everything and next they are going to make a model when they build the real hen house they'll know exactly what to do yeah what what <laughs> so hmm. We've thought about everything except the nesting box. Join us next time when we design and build our model. Bye for now. Bye! Happy hands need some space. A place to sleep, a place to eat. They also need a place for eggs and chicks. Aren't they sweet? In their house they sit on a perch and squawk. They go to yard if they want to go out and walk. So for our happy hands, we need to draw a design that's suitable and true. We work to skate and later on build a model that's clean and new. Happy hands like living well. Happy hands are easy to tell. They live in their home, made especially by Great fights, and, and that's exactly why happy hands are living well, because happy hands are easy to tell.